Hello there, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Ion Fury on Ultra Visceral Difficulty. This is Zone 1, Area 4, Cultural Divide. Alrighty, Cultural Divide. This map is a fun one. Why don't we make it a fun start? Oh. Okay, I think it auto-aimed on me. That's alright though. Alright, so you are immediately going to be greeted by a crap ton of enemies, especially on your right. Right down there. Yep. Liberators. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah, Grenadier Liberator. That's a fun start, isn't it? There's another cultist down here somewhere. Yeah, this level, uh, this level doesn't play around, so just be ready. There's some pretty nastily placed Liberator Grenadiers in this map. Ooh, I'll take that too for them. Let's go. There's going to be more enemies uh, around the corner and just ahead. There's one there. Get that one right there. Oop, I want to do that. Another Grenadier way over there. Yeah, I see you over there. See if I can lover boy him. Whoa! He came all the way down here to meet me. How nice of him. There we go. Yeah, this first part... There we go. This first part's going to be a bit of an ammo drain, so don't worry about conserving ammo too much. There's plenty of things to pick up down here. Including garbage bags and cans. If you swim underwater here, you can get some goodies as well. Some ammo, some health, even a bowling bomb. Bowling bombs are always fun. Okay, before I go for any of the secrets in this area, and oh yeah, by the way, there are 10 secrets. So this is the secret with the second most so far. I think the first level had 12, or was it 8? I forget. Anyway, 10 secrets <laughs> before I get distracted. But uh, before we start worrying about those, we're going to clear out the baddies. Just make this part a bit easier. Let's see. I don't think this story has a happy ending. 69% off. Nice. Yes, yeah, so this is supposed to be like a, I guess, kind of downtown, kind of skeevy area, oddly shaped veggies, lube, 50% off. Vegan meats, mmm, yum yum. And sushi. Now, hey, I will take me some sushi. I don't care who is supplying it, as long as it is not, uh, you know, super sketch, I will always partake in me some sushi. Alright, let's uh, clear out some more bad guys around here. Before we get into the nitty gritty of where the secrets are. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So this here is a junction box, but it is covered by this red key panel here. That junction box, when powered up, raises up that bridge to get to the other half of the level, so... No need to worry about that just yet. We will make our way there, slowly but surely. This is a secret, by the way, but we can't open it just yet. Again, we will get there in time. Alright, uh, I think there's a few more enemies I want to kill. Uh, you are actually on your way to getting the red access card in this big, like, downtownish area. Like, restaurant, district, whatever you want to call it. Marketplace. That's that's the word I was looking for. Marketplace. Um, but when you pick up the red key card, you will, of course, spawn in some enemies. So, just be careful. But there are a few more baddies. Including those guys. That I want to take out first. I think the one that I pistoled was a uh, grenadier. <laughs> Really? Uh-huh. That's what I thought. A greater cultist and a cultist here. And underwater here, you can get some more ammo. Two speed loaders for the lover boy. Always nice. Make sure everything I have is nice and reloaded. All right. So, once you grab the red key card up here, you will spawn in some enemies. So, before we do that, 
want to go ahead and grab a couple of secrets. I believe there's only two out here that you can immediately access. Number one, right up here to the left of the starting area. I could have gone up here immediately, but I would have had people down here firing at me. I didn't really want to deal with that, so I didn't. So instead, we'll go there now. So this jump is a little bit tricky. You have to kind of jump or uh, stand on one of the lipped edges of this fan tunnel here, and then there we go. Straight jump up to here. Got some lots of ammo. Nice. Disperser shells, lover boy bullets. And this switch right here with a number two over it. So there is a super secret in this map that I do not think count towards the secret total. Um, but it's just a nice one to find because there's a nice reference inside as well as a bunch of goodies. But there are three switches you have to press that each have a number above them. And I think you have to hit them in the correct order or else the secret doesn't open. This is actually the last of those three to uh, activate, so we're not going to hit it just yet. We'll come back to it. But in the meantime, we at least uh, triggered this one secret here. And now secret number two is right... I think it's right here. Yeah, it is. So we're going to stand here, straight jump around, right into this ledge here. And up. And up. And over. And over again. And up. Open. Bam. Portable med kit. Secret number two. Whoa. Secret number two. Two out of, I believe, yeah, ten. So eight to go. All right, so I think we have done everything we can. This is just a lift for, uh, that takes you up to this little food stand area. I guess it's kind of a shortcut, but I probably could have just used the same amount of time to circle around here and go up the stairs. Anyway, let's grab the red key, shall we? But be prepared. Call me crazy, but I think the bad guys want their key card back. Too bad. Yeah, there's going to be some ambushes. And there's going to be some greater cultists over there to snipe. Ugh, stupid. There we go. Oh, yes. One try for both. I don't think I have auto-aim turned on, it, or if the, uh, the ion bow is just doing it by itself. I'll have to check that after I'm done recording this and make sure. So some of these bolts are going in really weird directions. Directions that I... Whoa, hello. Don't want them going in. Another greater cultist over here. He's dead. There's a cultist here. He's dead. Another drone. He's dead as well. Uh, and there's a liberator shotgunner down there. Ooh. Greater cultist. Oh, okay. Is that a grenade? Oh, that was a grenade. Hello. Does that Grenadier Liberator really see me from all the way over there? I'm impressed. Hey. Oi. Wait your turn. Or, well, you can't wait your turn now. You're dead. Oh. Okay, I think you're a shotgunner. What? There we go. There's a cultist over there trying to hide. Got him. All right, let's uh, let's do some close range sniping. Some quick scoping without the scoping part. Got one there. Got him. Not even headshot, and I got him. Got him too. Oh, righty. So, oh, and drones. Okay, so at the end of the previous map, I mentioned that I may or may not have to use a flight cheat to get all the kills in this map. Well, a couple of notes. So, in my practice run that I did, fortunately I did not have to do that, which is good because point number two, I don't know what the flying cheat is. Um, according to some game guides websites, it's I'm lifted. But that wasn't working. Um, I knew it wasn't working because it says that the no clip cheat is I'm free, I believe. All one word, I'm free. Uh, but it's not. It's actually just no clip. So I don't know what the flight cheat is. I'm not going to try and do it for the sake of this video. So let's just hope that all the enemies uh, play nice. Um, specifically what I'm referencing is sometimes a couple of... Not him. 
Not him. There's a couple of drones that will spawn at some point, and I think most of them have already spawned and I've killed them. But they'll spawn way, way down there where the clouds are, and they'll just circle around behind the bend of this building, which is literally impossible to aim at or get to without cheating. Excuse me, and the same goes for over there. But again, in my practice run that I did before this one, that didn't happen, and I got all the kills just fine. Uh, I actually ended up missing, like, two secrets, <laughs> but none of the kills, so that was nice. So yeah, there's your quick notes. Hopefully the spawns play nice, hopefully the pathfinding plays nice, and we won't have to uh, lose out on some kills, because I really don't want that to happen. Anyway, let's get going. I said let's get going. Um, there we go. Alright, there's a Grenadier Liberator right over there. Oh, crap, he's still alive. Hello. Okay, I got him. Now, immediately when you cross this bridge, be careful. Yeah. A uh, potential ambush foiled by scripted explosions. <laughs> so that's real nice. So we're going to go across here up these stairs. There are a couple of greater cultists that have spawned up in secret number one over there. There we are who can get some nasty pot shots in on you, so don't let them do that, for God's sakes. Because their ion bows really, really hurt. Alright, I'm gonna take another look down to make sure there's no mystery drones anywhere. Okay, I don't see any, so we should be good. In that case, let's keep it going. Keep this murder train a-rolling. Alright, so in here we're gonna have a cultist. Uh, another cultist. Dance, fucker, dance. A greater cultist who somehow didn't die there. There we go. And this is an optional area here, but it's got some goodies, so don't miss out on it if you could spare the time. So we have a couple of bowling bombs, a portable med kit, flechettes, a mask, which is probably referencing something. I'm not sure what, though. And a medium armor. Alright, climb back up here. And, uh... Oh, this door right here. Oh, liquid crack, yay. This door right here is what leads to the super secret area. And this is the one that'll open once we hit all those switches in the correct order. So, we shall get there. Oops, when we get there. Alright, this room's a little bit dangerous, but if you do what I do, it won't be so bad. Open the door. Bank a grenade. Oh, that was a nice shot. Do another one. There we go. So there are some nasties hiding out in here. You have a few mech sects, a greater cultist, and a grenadier liberator, who's this pile of jibs right here. That's why I wanted to bank that grenade in. Go ahead and take care of him early. Bowling bomb that mech sect. You can open this vent here or destroy it. I just like opening them more. Not a secret, just got a med kit up here in case you need it. And you circle back around here. If you drop down here, be prepared, because there are enemies, so we're going to bowling bomb them. Oh, you throw quite a party. Cultists, greater cultists, mech sects, all in rather... Oop. Yeah, he just bit me. Well, termite. Yeah, very close quarters area. Lots of cultists, some greater cultists. Like five or six, I think, mech sects that can very easily get some nasty little bites in on you if you let them. So that's why we like to make use of them bowling bombs. Alright, some health and armor in this little toilet store. What's it called? <laughs> Turdorama. <laughs> of course. Gotta love that 90s humor. Where, where did that go? Alright, so we're done here. We're going to go up this elevator, which will autosave. And I forgot to mention, this game does do autosaves. I don't know if you can disable those or not. I'm not going to bother with it. Because if I die, for any reason, I'll just restart the level. So the autosaves don't really, don't really do anything anyway. So, yeah. Ooh. Take out these greater cultists that are hiding out in here. Alright. 
So the next secret, we're going to do a little bit more of an involved series of actions here. We're going to push this broom over. I think you can blow this thing up, so don't do that. Otherwise, this secret cannot be reached without the no-clip cheat, that is. Open the vent or destroy it. Jump inside. Ultrasonic radar. And secret number three. All right. Um, go ahead and snipe this greater cultist. I think there's a second one. Yes, there is. Get rid of him, too. And we shall now head for secret number four, which is just beyond these boxcar doors here. Oh, well, I meant to catch a ladder. That was my bad. Doesn't damage too much, though. Uh, this switch here opens that door that we couldn't open where the, the elevator section was. A little bit of a shortcut. And switch number two. This one has the number zero above it. This is the second of those three super secret switches that we will throw. So leave this one alone for right now. And here's the actual secret. Five bowling bombs, two garbage bags, and a portable med kit. One of which I will use to get up to 100 health. And yeah, you can only carry four portable med kits if I have not already said that before. And I think six is the maximum amount of ultrasonic radars you can carry. So yeah, that's what they max out at. So before we advance, we're going to drop down here, do some more scrounging around, some scavenging, if you will. Some armor shards and health pickups abound down here if you look hard enough. Not a whole lot, but some. And, oh, and this enemy here, you can very easily miss this kill. Hmm. Playbot and a bottle of whiskey. What were you doing down here, sir? But yeah, this is a rather hidden little nook containing a kill that can very easily be missed, so just keep an eye out for that. Now we shall advance. Power up this box. Jump on this fan once it spins to full speed, and right across. That's going to spawn some more drones. That fan over there, by the way, does eventually stop, so you have to power it back on again if you want to do that whole segment again. Or if you have to do it again, which we, I think, will have to do. You know what? There we go. I think those might be the drones that can potentially spawn way down there, but maybe maybe the most recent patch fixed that little pathfinding bug. Hopefully it did. Uh, okay, so throwing this switch will open this door here. I Whoa! Whoa! Whew, that was close. Okay, no, it stays open. I was thinking it was temporary, but before we go through there, which, by the way, just circles back to the market area, we're going to go for secret number five. Do a looping jump around here. There's a switch behind this little panel of glass. Flip that. Cross these wires carefully. Jump up here. Flip this switch. And then cross these wires carefully. Jump. And hit that switch. And doing that... Opens this secret here. Containing six bowling bombs, two cluster pucks, a heavy armor, and... The final of the super secret switches with a number three over it. So, we'll throw this one first. We're going to go back to secret, I think it was number three or four. The boxcar door secret. And throw switch number zero. And then we're going to go back up there and throw switch number two. And we'll just go on ahead and get that super secret out the way. Nice little uh, Easter egg. Okay, I think we're, I think we're good drone-wise. I don't think there's any of those awkward pathfinding issues going on, thankfully. Because like I said, I don't know what the flight cheat is. I tried to activate it, but apparently it's not the same cheat or something. I honestly do not know. Okay, which way do we go? Which way do we go? This way. I'm gonna go back down here. Call the elevator back down. And ride it back up. All right, I'm gonna go back into the little little boxcar secret here and catch the ladder this time. Yeah, it just kind of like magnetizes you, so it does look kind of weird. But switch number zero. And now we're gonna go all the way back via this fan again. We're gonna go all the way back. After plowing through some more enemies here who spawned in. 
try and ruin our fun here. We cannot let that happen. That may have been the only one. Did I hear a drum? Oh, guess not. Anyway, back up to... Oh, I think it was the music. I think it was the percussion, or the cymbals. <laughs> oh, come on, Shelly. Use them thighs, girl. Jump! There we go. All the way to the end. Switch number two, which is technically number three. Yeah, so switch three is number one, switch zero is number two, and switch two is number three. It's a little confusing, but three, zero, two. Just remember that. And we are going to go back into that little purple colored bar area. And here we are. Silent Hill. With that alarm blaring. The TV going on and the phone is eventually going to ring. I think we have to leave the room first. But look what we have. We have a disperser. Two grenade shell bundles. Another heavy armor suit. And just a nice little uh, safe zone. Yep. And I was right. It does not count towards the secret total. So it's just a little Easter egg secret for you to find. Alright, well now that that's out the way, we can finally advance by going back this way. Since I did open that door after all, might as well make use of that little handy dandy shortcut. Because I felt like it. Okay, and we're about to approach the final big outside area of this map. Oh, yeah, there's going to be some enemies hiding behind this fence here. Or... Yep. Alright, so I'm going to climb up here. Oh, oh, there you are. I, never miss. I knew there was one more greater cultist, but I had no idea where he was. I was like, did I already kill him? Where would you... Would you, would you not, please? Thank you. I wonder if I can launch a grenade through this fence. I can. Is he dead? Now he's dead. Alright. Bash this open because I want to. And bash this open because I want to. Nothing. Alright. Throw this door control switch, which will trigger another auto save. And we're about to do some, uh... Oops. Some sniping. With what other weapon? Yeah, you already know. Because there are quite a few baddies to snipe here. Fortunately, they can't shoot through this window here, only through the fence. It is a little bit hard to see through this fence, but yeah, I'll just go up here. Easier over here. There's a greater cultist over there. There's a greater cultist up there. Another greater cultist over there that I can't yeah, I don't think I can hit him from this angle. I can hit him, though. Just like that. Two more. Over there. Oh. Two up, two down. Just like my practice run. There's a couple of liberators. Got one. Oof. Got two. I think I saw a cultist as well. Right around. Oh, and a liberator. And two more cultists. Nice. Oh. Uh, some assembly? More like complete assembly. Just blew his ass up. Alrighty. So, where to start? Where to start? Um, let's actually... Oh, no you don't. Nice try. But no cigar. Alright, before I do any level progression or secret hunting... I'm going to do what I've done so far up till now and clear out the rest of the enemies. There are a few more in this upper area here, including one or two nastily placed Grenadier Liberators. So we're going to go ahead and take care of all of them first. Got a couple of cultists. Another cultist. Yep, I know you heard that grenade going off. When in doubt, manual aim. Is that the only one? I think there may have been... There's not a second one? Oh, yes there is. Oh! 
Too slow on the draw, Mr. Liberator. Too slow on the draw. Okay, let's see. I don't need that health pack. Uh, hello? Who squeezed? Who's squeezing? I heard that. There you are. Good night. Alright, there's a couple of shotgunner liberators inside, not here, down there. I can just jump down here. Get these armor fragments first. Oh no, they spawn in later. Oh, nope, they're right here. Eh, why not? <laughs> Goodness. Alright. Alright, I think we've had enough fun for right now. Let's do some, uh, some secret hunting. So I'm thinking, so there's five secrets left. I think in this one big area, in this outside area, there's actually four of the remaining five secrets. Uh, let me, let me think for a second. There's one up there, one down there. One up there, and one back there. Yeah, there's four. Okay. And then the last one is inside that room way, way up there. So, yep, we're on the right track. Just gotta hope none of the kills have evaded us. Man, I really hope I have good luck with those like I did in my practice run, or else this might uh, have a bit of a sour ending. Anyway, first secret. Well, technically the fifth, but the first one of this area. Go underwater. Surface under this box. I don't know what's actually in here, but it's a secret, so go ahead and grab that. Some more goodies under the water here in case you need some. Some ammo. Watch your oxygen meter, by the way. That bottom middle, that's your oxygen. And I think whatever health you lose from drowning, you do not get back, like, say, in Half-Life. Yeah, I don't think you get the same treatment here, so don't take that risk. Alright, so that's secret number one. Secret number er, five, sorry. Secret number... Oh, wait, no. Secret number six. I'm sorry. The second half of the secrets. That was secret six. This is secret number seven. Not this right here. We're getting there. So, secret seven. We have to climb back up to the upper area. Uh, a little bit higher. Shelly's getting her jumping jacks in today. That's for sure. Alright. So from here, we want to jump down. Uh, hello? Who, who done it? You done it. And then I done this. Alright. So we want to jump down to this window. And then do a looping jump all the way over here. For an ion bow and two ion bow quivers. Also love that little 3D holographic model. Not sure what it's supposed to look like, but it looks pretty cool. Alright, so that was secret number seven. So secret number, okay, so secret um, nine and ten are both out here. Secret number eight we have to get to first, and that's in that uh, that room over there. So we can't get the last two yet. Level progression is required first, so that's what we shall do. So anyway, um, I meant to say this when I first entered this area, but I was a bit distracted as I trust you saw. The goal here is to power up this elevator a little behind on the bills. Indeed, we have to power up this elevator using three junction boxes, one of which is of course right here, in order to exit the level. So the other two we have to actually do some exploring to find. First place to explore is the place we are about to go into inside this uh, restaurant here. What's it called? The, the Tainer Inn. I wonder if that's also a reference. So going through here, all the enemies in here should be dead because of those disperser grenades we fired. There's a mech sec inside that vent. Go ahead and blast him away. This office... I don't know. This office seems rather cozy. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the 69% off discount. Who knows? Anyway, climb through the vents. There are four mech secs up on the ceiling. Oh, hello. Hello. There's, I think, two or three more Ow. out in the open right here. If you stay crouched right here, the mech sex will just come to you and you can... Oh, that one's dead. Whoops. And you can just blow them away at your leisure. I believe that's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. Cool. 
go ahead and get the greater cultist there who's camping in the corner. We're going to grab this supplies here, these supplies here. We're going to power on this junction box. And then we are going to grab this yellow key. Either powering up the box or grabbing this key introduces us to another new enemy. And this enemy can be pretty nasty. Right over there. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you... Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. I present to you the Deacon. So the Deacon is basically a super-powered drone on steroids. Speaking of drones, we got a couple of drones out here, too. Go ahead and take care of them. The Deacon is a flying, cybernetic, drone-like enemy that has, instead of just basic projectile launchers, whatever the drones have, I don't know, it's not a shotgun, the projectiles travel too slowly for that, but instead he has a pair of missile launchers, and I think the missiles are just dumb fire, I don't think they actually, you know, home in on you, so that's nice. There's a drone here, where is he? There you are. Oh, where'd he go? Boy, would you quit? Ow. Well, quit doing that too, that hurts. Yeah, they can blend in with a lot of backgrounds, so just be careful. But anyway, the Deacon fires twin Dumbfire missile launchers at you. I think they have limited homing abilities. Like, they don't they don't absolutely zero in on you, which is definitely good, but their missiles do a lot of damage. They have a decent amount of health, too, but um, the Akimbo Penetrators, in my experience, is the best weapon to use against them. Maybe the Disperser Grenade Launcher also works very well. I think the Ion Bow works well as well. But for close range, I would just whip out the Akimbo Penetrators and just unload on them. So anyway, let's uh, let's progress. Yellow key card door. Go through here. Gonna be a couple of foot soldiers in here to pick off. Some shotgunner liberators. A greater cultist. A couple of non-greater cultists. Let's see, and that's it for right now. Climb up these ladders here, and all of a sudden we are inside the office. So, this part's pretty cool. Oops. First things first. Secret number eight. This bookcase is a secret sash. A refrigerator with some liquid crack, some whiskey, portable med kit, which I do not need, and this part here. So we're going to pull this emergency override switch, or flip it, rather, and watch what happens. Cordobainiki intensifies. Boxcar Tetris. I want to see a boxcar Tetris game in this engine done just like that because that is awesome. Alrighty, so we have six more kills to go and two more secrets. I believe the remaining six kills will spawn in, uh, well, now, if they haven't already. There's going to be a shotgunner right there, and there's going to be some greater cultists to snipe. Oh, and a grenadier too, because why not? And watch out, those grenadier liberators, they got some they got some serious accuracy, so don't just stand in one spot and expect them to not plug you a couple times. Whoa! Or up close. Up close works as well. Alright, we have one kill left. Oh god. Oh, no. I do not like to see that, because that means it might be a straggler that we have to go look for. And it might be one of those glitched drones. Oh, man, I really hope that's not the case. I really, really hope that's not the case. Well, we'll focus on that later. For right now, we're going to go to the area that those Tetris box cars just revealed. And in here, we have three things. Well, nah, a few things. We have the final junction box that allows us to leave. A poster, Big Bill Hell's Cars, remember that? OG YouTube. <laughs> Fuck you, Baltimore. That was a drone. Hey, there's the final kill. Okay, he reveals himself when you power on the final junction box. Anyway, yeah. Remember that old parody YouTube commercial? Fuck you, Baltimore. I gotta watch that now. Love that video. Secret number nine, get some jump boots, and these jump boots will allow us ever so effortlessly to reach secret number 10, which is on top of this sign inside here. 
another portable med kit. And on that note, we're done. We are done with this map. All secrets, all kills, and even the super secret. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-reload all of my weapons that can be reloaded, just to prepare myself. Oh, and I might uh, go ahead and whip these out soon as well. Because the next map... Oh, that was the music, okay. The next map is the boss map. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, 29 out of 29. And 485 out of 45. Yep, we're good to go. So let's go. We are out of here. Down, down, down. Into the final map of Zone 1. Go ahead and finish the ride here before I end things off. There we go. All right, so that was Cultural Divide, Zone 1, Area 4. Man, that level is fun. It is difficult. I had a much better run this time around. My practice run, I had a lot of... Uh, I took a lot of hits I shouldn't have taken because I was... <laughs> well, A, I haven't played the game in a while, and B, I kind of wasn't uh, being as attentive as I should have been. But this run was way, way better than the first. I also forgot two secrets. The underwater secret was one of them, and then the uh, second secret where you have to do that looping jump is right across from secret number one. I forgot about that one, too. But, uh, yeah, so that level, man, that level is hot and heavy from start to finish. I love the design. Again, I really love the level design of pretty much this entire game. Like, the whole... I mean, the city is called Neo DC. It's futuristic Washington DC. Got these kind of skeevy downtown areas, these market districts, these food stands. Littered to the brim with bad guys to shoot. Lots of verticality in that last map, too. You know, it's just love it. Love the navigation. Um, definitely challenging. There's a lot of well-placed enemies, especially those greater cultists with those crossbows, or ion bows, sorry, who can uh, whittle your health down in a hurry if you're not careful. Um, nastily placed Grenadier Liberators as well, goodness me, a couple of those guys actually got some hits on me in my practice run. Uh, thankfully, that did not so much happen here. There was a bit of a close call near the end, but I saw it coming and was able to jump out the way in time. But uh, overall, yeah, that map, definitely my favorite one so far. I think that's my favorite map of Zone 1. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a favorite map of each zone and uh, just kind of go like that and then and then by the end of the playthrough I might uh, pick my favorite map overall like I'll take each of my favorite maps from each zone of which there are seven by the way seven zones total and then just have a little map off shall we say which one of these seven maps is my absolute favorite in the entire game but that'll be for the future upcoming is the boss level this is also a fun one not easy, especially on the highest difficulty, Maximum Fury. Whew, man, you'll be sweating. You'll be sweating, your heart will be racing, all that good stuff. But anyway, that will be the next video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. And until that next time comes, I will see y'all later. Bye-bye.